Well, hello and welcome to QuipCon. We have an HC Rhodes Cookie King. Uh, these guys are the designers, engineers, and manufacturers. They don't mess around. They do it all. They know what they're doing. They've been doing it for a long time. If you're familiar with Cookie King, you know the design hasn't changed much over the years. And why would you? It's been working. It's been working great. So why try to improve something that, uh, you know, <laughs> it's been foolproof practically. There have been a few improvements now. Get, you got me there. There are a couple things that they've changed slightly to make them work better, but you know you'd expect them to. If you have, a, if you have a, something that can be better, well you make it better. But uh, let me show you how easily this comes apart. These cylinders come out very simply. I'm not going to take them out because I'm holding a camera with one hand and they're a little hard to get back together with just one hand, but um, they come out real easy for cleaning. You can pull the whole cylinder out, wipe them down. You don't have to try to get in here with brushes and things like that to clean them. And this part right here goes on the top. And again, I got to hold the camera and try to do this. So it's going to be a little bit more difficult. There we go. We're in place. We tighten the clamp down. Very simple. And do the other side. Tighten that down. And this piece right here, well, this just goes on so nobody gets their fingers in there. It's kind of a safety guard to keep things out of the gears. Close this up. This covers the chain. And uh, we're pretty much ready to make cookies. Well, yeah, you know, you're right. We do need cookie dough. It's not, these are, you know, we're making pretend cookies today because, well, we've got this all cleaned up and we don't have any cookie dough. If we did have cookie dough and I was running cookie dough through here, we'd have swarms of people out here stealing my cookie dough anyway. So they would like lay on the machine and let it drop right into their mouth. So we're going to pretend we have cookie dough on here and we're going to see how well it works. Now I'm going to turn it on and um, it's going to take, I have it set all the way down, so actually I'm not quite all the way down. I'll go down just a little bit further here. And it's the last mark right there. Now what that does is that adjusts the speed of how fast this tray goes through, which uh, in turn adjust how many cookies you drop on the tray. If you have small cookies, well obviously you're going to put more on a tray than if you have large cookies. So I think I normally on that speed it'll go like maybe eight to ten kerchunks through. I mean a kerchunk is, well it goes kerchunk, kerchunk, kerchunk. Actually I guess you would say eight or ten cycles through. Uh, we're going to let it run to show you how well it works. Okay, so we went through seven cycles, uh, so we could drop seven cookies. And if you had it, let's say, three cookies wide, seven this way, that would be 21 cookies. If you had it four wide and seven that way, well, that would obviously be seven more than 21. And uh, now let me show you how cool this part is. You say you want to put more than 28 cookies on here. Well, that's real easy to do. We just turn the crank. And we're going to run it all the way up. So we're going to have two different ranges here. We've got, you know, everywhere in between, too. We could stop anywhere along here and make your cookie size. There's little indicator marks on here so you know if you use, let's say, the heart die, which is this die. These are the dies that are coming with it. You're getting a great deal here, too. Got the heart die, which is four across. Got the circle die, which is four across. Got the runny babbit die here, which is three across and the ever popular Christmas tree die, which is also three across. So now, uh, depending upon the size of the cookie, obviously the wider the cookie this way, the slower, sorry, the faster that it has to run through because you otherwise you'll be dropping cookies on top of each other. It's very easy to figure out. You try it, if it drops a cookie on top of each other, you speed it up, no big deal. All right, here we go. And once you get it figured out, you just write this number right here. See number three? If you have to run it at three, you write that on the end of the die and you'll know the next time. So we're gonna turn it on and watch how slow it goes through this time. Remember it was like seven times, seven cycles that it went through the last time. This time it's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, 
12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, somewhere around 26. Somewhere around 26 cycles to go through. So now, if you have one of the small dies, and by the way, we've got a lot of these dies available. So if you need a smaller circle die or a Santa Claus die, whatever, check out our website, call one of our salesmen, they'll tell you what we have available. But let's say you had one of the smaller circle dies that were eight across, and you had 26 this direction and eight this direction. 8 times 26, well, you know, that's a lot, so you'd have a lot of cookies on there. Uh, let me show you the inside, how nice this looks. We don't just clean up the outside and fix up the outside, we fix up the inside too. Normally there's a cover that goes over here, but uh, this is the inside. Let me turn it on, let it run. This motor right here is the motor that uh, makes everything run. The pulleys up there, that's what's pulling this belt through which uh, pulls the uh, cookie sheet through. And we have adjustment here for the height of the cookie king. You can see how low it That's all the way down, and I can raise it up. Down and up. Let's see how that works. All right, and there you go. Now there's to say there's no reason that I need to put dough in here. You know how the cookie, you know the cookie king works. It's proven technology. It's been working for years and years. I just want you to see that this particular machine works. You can see all the gears are moving. The uh, the rollers here are moving. Uh, this, this wire right here. See these nice little fingers? See how good shape they are? They hold the wire in place, which actually does the cutting. That's all there. That's all working fine. The adjustments work fine. Look how easy that turns. No cranking, no pushing, no, you know, just real simple, real simple to turn. The adjustments here all come loose. These are the adjustments for the arm size. You can move up and down. This one here comes loose, no problem. Two fingers. I'm not having to use wrenches and things like that. It's all clean. It's all been taken well care of. Let me show you one last thing, and that's the safety switch. Somebody decides they're going to get in here and stick their finger in there. Well, you pull the cover open, it it shuts off. That way, you can't get your finger stuck in there. Well, I guess you could if you really tried, but uh, that will prevent the normal person from getting their finger stuck in there. It even says right here. Do not remove guard while machine is running. Don't tell anybody I just did that. Um, so, well, here you go. This is it. It's beautiful. Looks good. Works great. And, you know, we're outside. That should tell you something. We're outside here, which means uh, we're just using an extension cord. See, we're just using the regular 120 volt uh, extension cord to run the thing. So it doesn't, it's not going to take any special electric. If you've got an outlet where you can, say, plug a light, a fan in, uh, this is going to run on it. Um, the amperage on it, 6.8 amps, 115 volts. So, you know, it's not a big, uh, big electricity user. We're just running it on a little 12 gauge extension cord. Not really recommended. You should plug it straight into the wall, but you know, uh, who does what's recommended. So if you need this or have any questions on it at all, give us a call. Our phone number is 636-583-8200. And uh, you can check out our website, which is www.quipcon, Q-U-I-P-C-O-N.com. Uh, there will be pictures there with all the covers back in place. And uh, sorry this video was so long, but, uh, you know, we do the best. We want to make sure that you know that everything works. And that folds down to make it easier to move. And again, any questions, give us a call. And uh, if you need cookie sheets, if you need more dies, even if you don't buy this cookie machine, we still sell you some dies. We're not, uh, you know, we're not that way. You don't have to buy a cookie machine just to buy dies from us. So give us a call. Any questions, 636-583-8200.